Hey guys. All right. Um, so I've had these, uh, these boots for a while and, um, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with them. So I've been sitting on them for a hot minute, but the last ones I did, um, all I did was put, uh, um, just transfers on straight onto the boot. But uh, this time I'm going a little different and I'm painting them and then I'm applying a transfer. So these are actually uh, used Doc Martens, um, which as we all know, last for forever and ever and ever. And they are leather, so you can paint leather. And I'm gonna show you guys that in just a little bit. All right, so um, I need to just shake my camera for just a second because it's wanting to fall over. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna point it down so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm just gonna finish up with this transfer on here. So I already have um, a little bit of it transferred. And what I've done is I've cut it. It's one piece, but I've just cut it um, little notches so that there's a little more give to it. So like this part here hasn't been transferred down, so it's not sticking there yet because it's got uh, a cut here and there's also a cut here too just so it because you know it's it's soft and leather and it, it's it'll move so you want it to be able to have some flexibility so that's why I've got all these cuts in it um, but this is the uh, the Blossom Flight new transfer and I think these are just going to be absolutely adorable when I'm finished but so I'm just going to finish this up and then I'll show you guys how to paint the the boot. All right. So I'm just using, um, it does, the transfers do come with a tool. There's like this little stick, but I get a little bit more, um, with my little, uh, hair cutting scissors. Um, they've got this little notch on them here. That's really handy to, uh, to get in to all the little grooves and everything that I need. So it, they work out, it just works out well for me, but you can use the tool or you could use the, um, the the tool from redesign with prima they also have um there's also like a little uh, corner piece on it as well but um, i've hurt my wrist and so this works just perfectly for me right now all right so now i just got to make sure because i, I want to be able to place my branch right down here where it is so I've got my hand on inside the boot and it's holding it in place. So I'm just going to carefully go over everywhere and adhere it. And then when I'm done, I can go over and use my hand, to double check everything's adhered down. All right, I think I'm pretty much got it all so cute let's double check all right look how cute is that love it all right so I'm just going to use my fingers and Push everything down into all of the grooves. Make sure that there's no air bubbles. So awesome. And then I need to get like all like where the, the edges join and all that. Get that. all the flowers I'm 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 pushing pretty hard I want to get any air bubbles or uh, wrinkles out because I will be sealing these um, with a clear wax since it is um, it is uh, uh, leather all right how cute is that 
That's gonna be so adorable when I'm done. <laughs> Look, and it wraps around. And then I'm gonna do another uh, spot over here as well, and then probably, you know, bring some down across the, the toe as well. So, so cute. All right, so there's really no major trick or anything to painting leather. Um, these had, I have cleaned these already. All I did was use uh, just soap and water. I used uh, Blue Dawn and just, you know, gave them a good little scrub down and just paint straight over that. Um, I like to use uh, Fusion uh, mineral paint for my, uh, when I, whenever I paint on leather. Um, I find it goes on beautifully. It doesn't feel like paint on the leather. It just feels like regular leather. Uh, it doesn't crack. It doesn't peel. Once it's on there, it's on there. And um, you can do, usually do, I will say usually, just depending on what color you're doing, um, one coat. So just take out the laces. And then, I had a little dog hair on there. Um, so this is the color that I picked for these. This is, and this is just a tiny little tester jar. Um, so this is the Heirloom Fusion Mineral Paint. And as you can see, I've, I've barely used any. And I already did one boot, one coat. So that's one coat on this one here. And you can see how great that coverage is. I, I just I love Fusion Mineral Paint for their, their coverage on their colors is awesome. Now they're white, of course, you need to do two coats. But for the most part, all of the other colors, you don't. All right, um, so I'm just going to uh, just quickly go through and show you just how easy it is to paint leather. All right. So you just want to, you know, get in there and get in all the nooks and crannies. Um, when I get down to this bottom part here, um, you know, where the on on um, Doc Martens, they've got this iconic stitching, you know, in here. So I leave that, but I do get up close um, as much as I can with a little finer detail brush. So I get that lip. Yeah. But yeah, it's so easy to paint leather. So if you come across, like if you're in a, in a thrift store or whatever, and you come across a really pretty pair of high heels or boots or something, and you're like, eh, it's just not the color I want. Well, you can paint them. And they will last. Oh, I need to be in the camera, don't I? See, and I haven't... I haven't even dipped my brush again, and that's how much I get just off of off of one dip into the paint. Pretty good coverage. These brushes are um, these are the Finibear uh, Art Alchemy or Art Basics, sorry, line uh, from uh, Prima Marketing. Um, you can get these from your local retailer. Uh, they can get them in for you if you request them. Um, they come in a, a one inch, a half inch, and a, uh, a half uh, pointed. Um, and on the ends, they've got these fabulous little, uh, whoopsies, these fabulous little uh, things that are they're bendable and you can use them with textures and stuff. Um, I can't, hold on. Let me see if I click this. 
No, that's just for me. I can't see any comments or anything. I don't know if anybody has said anything or whatever. Um, I don't know why I can't see any comments. Click on here and see. No, I don't know. That's okay. I will just continue to paint boots on a Thursday night. Because that's totally normal. Right? Yeah. Why not? Because we can. Great coverage. Love this paint so much. Isn't this such a pretty color? This would be great on a dresser too. This color with the uh, with the uh, the transfer. I love that transfer. That's the new um, spring twenty twenty release that we have. Well, if you guys just want to ask questions, I will go back and answer them. Um, I right now cannot see anything, and I do not know why, and I'm sorry. I am not ignoring you if you are asking a question, I promise. I just do not see any comments whatsoever, which is a shame because I'd like to know who's watching. I'd like to say hi, but I don't see anything. Look at that, isn't that great? Such a cute color. And these little tester pots from Fusion are really cheap and they go a long way. I think I used one to paint like a little table one time. I mean, I've barely used anything to paint these and one coat, so I don't need to do another coat. To clean them, um, I don't know if I, yeah, I did say it at the beginning, but to clean the leather, to clean the boots, just, you know, Dawn dish soap and water. Easy peasy. And then I let them dry for a minimum uh, 24 hours, uh, especially because it's leather. It gets, um, you know, it gets soaked into there and it can get soaked into the, the inside and the insoles and whatnot. So you just gotta let it clean, uh, let it dry for at least 24 hours. Longer if, if it needs it. Uh, I didn't though, this didn't, they didn't need it. I just cleaned the leather really well. I mean the, the leather part really well, not the actual boot boot. I didn't get it inside. So I've just got my hand inside and that gives me control over painting the leather. Or painting the tongue, you know, of the boot. And this paint dries very quickly as well. Now you can use other paints too. I just know from my experience and others that Fusion does work very well on leather and pleather, uh, but you can definitely use different brands if you so choose. And I had it on hand too.
All right, so I just need to finish the tip of this here. And then we'll go back to the outside and I'm almost done so we can do more transfers on oh it's floppy I'm trying not to get a bunch of paint all over myself okay so there now we've got the tongue done look how cute they're looking All right, and then now we just need to finish right here around the uh, the zipper. So we just gotta be, you know, careful with our, our brush going up along the very side. There's like a little ridge there, which makes it easy to just follow along that. And then the same thing on this side. And you wanna get in, get quite a bit of paint into where the stitching is so that it fills all that in. And then I have a small brush for doing the detailed, the detailed stuff, um, like doing the, uh, all the way around the edge there. And you kind of gotta like bloop and blop and you know work it into the into the uh, shh, princess hush. into the edges and where the the uh, threads are, the stitching, that was the word I wanted. Gotta work it into there. I think these are going to be awesome for a little munchkin. Have one of a kind Doc Martens. Nobody else will have Doc Martens with birds on them. Heck no. But that's where my brain goes. It says put birds on blue docks. Why not? I think that would look awesome. All right, we're almost done. And I will touch it up with my, my little brush after. And then we'll go play with some transfers on the other boot that we did. While this one dries anyway. I gotta do some other little touch-ups and whatnot to it. But look how cute. How awesome is that? Hi, Gloria. Hi, people. Look, people are finally showing. I, I don't know what was up with um, not showing me. I'm using uh, the Fusion Mineral Paint. It's just a tiny little tester. This one is uh, Heirloom. So this is what I have so far. I have um, the Blossom Flight redesign with Prima Transfer. Uh, 
cowgirl, no. Well, I don't know. Do, do a cowgirls wear? No, I think she's a little punk. I think she's more punk than anything. I think it's gonna be awesome. All right, so here's what I've got so far. So now I need to pick some others. And I gotta figure out how to, how to get it to wrap around. You just, hi Ophelia, did you? All right, so, hmm. And I wanna get another bird on the other side as well. So let me scoot my paint and my paint brushes out of the way so that I can put these flatter so I can see better what I am doing. Okay. So I want to join up from where I ended at the back here and go around here and then around the front on the toe. So I have to find just the correct placement. I think because I have a bird and whatnot here, I'll just go this way and wrap around this way. So this will end up being like a branch going across the toe or something. And there being another branch with a bird over here, maybe get the bird here or here. We'll have to see what's gonna fit, right? All right, let's see. So, placement is always the hardest choice, I tell you. A color, no problem, I can do color all day long. But placement, it takes a lot to think through what's going to look the best and how it's gonna sit and how it's going to all, you know, manage and, and come together as a, a cohesive looking picture or, you know, artwork or whatever, right? So, you know, how, how to get it to get to that spot can be, it can be a little tricky sometimes. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna think out loud a little bit. So I have to figure out exactly where and how. I want another branch like this one. So I might have to grab one of the other sheets. Let me see. See, this is what I did over on, the, on there. So I want to go the opposite direction if there's anything that I can use going the opposite direction. I do not know if there's anything going technically the opposite direction. So, what to do? I guess we're going to have to go with floral coming back with a bird. Exactly. Exactly, Lee. That's, yep. So, what if I did, um, would that work? I could get the bird right here. Tricky, tricky. I don't know which one to do. Hmm. like sitting out in the middle of nowhere. He's just hanging out completely random. I guess
because he's sitting on a on a bud. Let me see this one again. No, because I want to do a different bird. So, all right, I think we're going to go with. How about that? Would that work? Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna cut around to what I think I want. Okay, and then cut back here around a birdie. see if I go here and then find the other matching to that I may be able to go all the way around or I can just put birdie right here and go around with the branches ooh that would be cute right yeah okay so let's see I need the, the top part of that branch. Is that it? No. So it needs to be this one. Yes. So I need these little branchy branchies right there. Okay. Get these little branchy branchies hiding in here. See, that's the cool thing with the, the transfers is they all join up. Oh, it came off its back and sheep. We don't know that yet. They all join up into one design if that's what you want. Okay, do I need the branch, the big branch? No, I don't think so. Okay, so I can cut this off. All right. Let's scoop these out of the way. And then... And then... I'm going to uh, use a clear wax over top of the... Uh, all of this, um, mainly because it keeps the, the leather soft. Um, if I put a poly on top, I'd be afraid that it wouldn't be as flexible and, and soft, right? Because like Doc Martens are, they're actual leather, right? So you want it to be soft and, and still flexible. Um, I haven't, these aren't for anybody in particular yet, Susan. Um, I haven't, uh, I picked the colors in the transfer, so, um, hopefully somebody will love them. Um, they don't fit me or I'd wear them. They don't fit my daughter or I'd make her wear them. Okay, so we're going to try and put the birdie right there on the front. So I'm going to cut some little notches here and there to give it more flexibility. Just to make it easier. All right, so I'm going to line her up right there on the front. Let's get this going like so. Okay, and then I'm only going to peel back where I'm going to work first. I don't want all of it peeled back all willy-nilly 
and getting stuck where I don't want it to get stuck. Because I want to place this just right so that it fits around the curve of the boot perfectly. So this looks pretty good right here. All right, I need to get, all right, I'm gonna get my hand in there because that's gonna give me that. You can see, there we go, all right. So this way I have a little more uh, control over where it's going. And again, you can use the tool that comes with the, the transfers. Um, but for right now, I, I'm just using the edge of my, my little hair cutting scissors here. Um, it, it's, it's, it's like using a, your finger, but a little more manageable because it's hard. I'm gonna have to cut here because I don't want to go over the edge. Of my, my boot. The cutting of the, the little indents on the transfer really, really helps to get it to go over a rounded curved surface. You know, like all these little cuts that I put in, it really helps it a lot. All right, so now we're going to do birdie. And then I wanna get my branch perfectly lined up. Can you still see, okay lined up where it's going to just run along the side of the bottom of the boot there. Let's pull back a little bit more so I can get birdie. There we go. All right, birdie, you need to get on there. that is adhered and then now I can do my branch and I want to manipulate it so that it goes down and along the base of the boot it's tricky sometimes it can be really tricky to get them to go exactly where you want them. All right, so I'm gonna get the bottom part. That way I can handle the, handle the branch after. All right. And then my branch can go right there. Okay, see if we got it all on, we did. All right, and then we've got our little branchy branch here that joins up with this branch. So we're gonna do this in sections as well. So let's do this, I'm gonna cut it. so that they're all lining up with their mate here. Okay. If I wanna get up close to that line, I use the tip of my, my scissors here. All right. Okay, so there's one. And then of course I'm gonna to have to go back and fill in or make sure everything's adhered correctly and properly. All right, let me see if I can get these guys without, I think I can. 
Yep. Okay. All right. Yay! It's on! All right, so now I just have to go and with my, you know, my fingers, get all of those bits, made sure they're all down and adhered properly. The more you rub or burnish, as everybody says, the better your adherence is going to be. Get in all those little grooves, get in where, you know, push real hard, get in where the, the stitching is. Fabulous. Look how cute. There's a birdie on the toe of the shoe and it kind of wraps around a little bit. I think that's pretty cute. And I may just find a little branch here and add it to the back, kind of go around there. But look how cute, that looks awesome. Yep, there we go. It's hard to gauge it correctly here. Cute. Um, how long does the paint take to dry? It's dry. It takes like maybe 10, 10 minutes to dry. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start on this one soon. And I have to just touch up. Um, so like on this one, I go all the way up to where the, um, the stitching is for, and go this way there. You can see the iconic stitching on Doc Martens. And, um, so I just took a, a really, a small artist brush and just, you know, went up real as close as possible as I could to the stitching. I didn't want to cover the stitching up. So I'll just do the same thing on the other one, and then same thing with on the inside of the boot. I'll just do the, um, like the lip part here. And I'll probably try and get in where the, the uh, zipper is, just so that it looks like they were meant to be this color, not, oh look, those are painted, you know what I mean? So I think it'll look, um, I think it'll look so cute. And I'll probably, I mean, it'd be awesome if I could find like some really pretty colored, like maybe white, like off-white laces or something. I think that would look really pretty. I don't know, I'll see. Maybe I'll just dye the ones that I have. But how cute, right? I mean, I would wear them. Too bad they're not in my size. I'm always looking. I always look for ones in my size. But this is the second pair of Doc Martens that I found at my uh, at my favorite thrift store. So I snag snag them as soon as I as soon as I see them. Hi Gail. Thank you. I think it's super cute too. I think they're adorable. So this is going to be this is going to be a pair of bird boots. I mean, who doesn't want a pair of blue bird boots? Right? All right. Well, thanks for hanging out with me while I do this. Um, I'm going to continue and finish them up. And then um, I'll be posting them on my page so you all can see what they look like when I'm done. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.